Hey y'all, it's Bev. <laughs> Look, I was gonna do go out to this trailer this morning, actually last week to be honest with you. It was cold out. And get my snowmobile, do this out there, but I'm like, eh, it's cold out there. Let me just grab my gear from the up the, the um attic. So my transformation story today is going to be totally different than normal. It's more about the strength that I've got over the past two years. Oh, my God. Um, the past two years from different of the workouts that I do. It's made me a better rider. How? I never thought that would have happened. I've been riding snowmobiles since I was like little. I don't know, five, four. We had kitty cats. I rode all over. Um, we've been in Canada, we've been in New York, New Jersey, Idaho, Wyoming, Montana, yeah, even one time back when it was, you could ride in the park, Yellowstone Park, and when it was fun and didn't have to have a guide, I almost got hit by a buffalo. Yeah, ask anyone, they'll tell you that was with us. So, the thing is, is last year when we were riding with one of our really great friends up there, Yorn, <laughs> we went on a long excursion, I don't know, it was close to 200 miles for the day. One of someone that he knew got stuck, so we had to go out to the field that they were in, it was about four foot of snow, and you went on top of it. I am usually a trail rider, I'm not a big fan of this off-road um, backcountry wilderness that's not me um, I like to play it easy and so we went out there and I'm like oh crap how the heck are we gonna turn around here so I had to put on my big girl pants and I watched Lauren do it first so I knew what to do and it was just like one of those videos that you see you're like whoosh, whoosh, up on the side and after we done, got off, first of all, I tried to get te Kevin to tape it, but he was like, my hands are too cold. I'll meet you on the other side. So, so after we got off and I made it through, didn't fall down, no one had to come rescue me out of there because I was not going to let that happen. I was like, yes, yes. But nobody obviously was there to hear me because I was yelling it in my own helmet. And um, so it's just amazing how when you're healthier and you're fit and you get this newfound confidence that you never had before, how many different ways it can help you. Oh, and this is really important, tech vest. If you ride snowmobile, horses, dirt bikes, whatever, do yourself a favor and get yourself a vest like this. They're awesome. They will help protect your chest. And you don't have to be an aggressive rider because honestly, my husband, my cousin, excuse me, my cousin got um, in a bad accident last year and he is a really great rider and he was only going about 20 miles an hour and um, hit a tree and I'm just so thankful he's alive to be here to tell us a story today. But he was in the hospital a long time, he was out of work, he had many things going on with him. So do yourself a favor and get yourself a vest. And it, you don't have to be older, younger, the younger the better. Protect them. Their bodies aren't developed like our older ones are. You are worth it. We want you to be around a long time. So be healthy and safe. But the coolest part about this is it's an extra small. <laughs> awesome! Before, I've had many different snowmobile clothes these days because they were all too big before. After losing the weight, that's what happened. Excuse me with my hair. Anyway, so if you want to improve your riding confidence, just get healthier and stronger because today I lifted up to 20 pounds where I started two years ago, zero five, two, four, two, four, five, up to 20. And it's just about getting stronger every day in every way. I would love to have you join one of my groups. Message me at greatlifefitbev at gmail.com. Message me on Facebook, greatlifefitbev, Twitter, Instagram, etc. You get the point. <laughs> have a wonderful day and I will talk to you later.